Companies like Apple and Whoop have changed the game for how we think about fitness. Eight Sleep and Aura have done the same for sleep. And now there's a brand new company soon to come out of beta mode that's on a mission to shake up the industry and change the game for how we think about nutrition. What's up friends and welcome back to my channel. The company I'm talking about here is Levels. Yes, they're a CGM platform and distributor, but their value and mission as a company stretches far beyond their glucose monitoring software. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through their core services right now, including how Levels works and what you get from both their CGM and app. I'll share my own experience and data points after using Levels for an entire month, including some of the pros and cons. And then finally, I will wrap things up by talking about that crazy long 150 thousand person wait list and how you can bypass that, their current pricing plan, and why I think their future business model could potentially revolutionize the entire CGM industry as we know it. And full disclosure, Levels did send me this kit to try out. And because of my own experience and strong belief in their company vision, well, I've decided to partner with the company moving forward. And so if you're interested in joining their beta program right now, you can skip the wait list and just join using my special link in the show notes below. Let's just kick things off with a very basic and quick overview of CGMs and how they work, why you might want to wear one to get some insights around your metabolic health. So starting with the basics and a CGM or continuous blood glucose monitor is a small dime sized device that you wear on your arm for two weeks at a time to measure your blood sugar levels continuously. As a result, you can actually start to make some bigger correlations with your glucose data around things like stress and sleep, exercise, it's not just about the food. Just seeing your glucose data alone is great, but isn't gonna move the needle unless it's paired with actionable insights, which is why the real value, I think, for some of these CGM companies lies in their apps and the type of feedback and the educational resources that you're gonna get from their platform. Now, I've tried NutriSense in the past and I'm actually actively testing out the company Very Stable right now, got plans to test out January.ai. So yeah, there's gonna be a lot of glucose data, a lot of videos comparing these services, and just I'm so excited to explore deeper into this idea of how to optimize your metabolic health. So make sure you guys subscribe if you're interested in learning and seeing more of this kind of content. But for the most part, all of these apps, they do come with a section to log your food, some dashboard insights around your glucose trends, as well as usually an Apple Health or Google Fit integration to track your levels around exercise and sleep. It's just that the Levels app and their total user experience, to me, it's a cut above the rest. Now on the Levels app, you'll actually find all this info on the My Data tab, which is at the bottom of your screen. So here you'll get a full snapshot of your metabolic averages over time to see how things are shaping up with the option to scroll through and look back at any of your previous daily reports. And they've also included a catalog option so you can easily search back and filter through your history based on your keywords or scores. And oh boy, have I found that pretty helpful, especially if you're looking to reference a meal that you've had a while ago, but you just don't necessarily remember what it did to your glucose levels. So what Levels has done here Yes, it seems pretty simple. And yet what they've done is solve for the fundamental problem that I've had with other CGM apps and quite frankly, a lot of just health tracking apps in general. They have optimized their platform for concrete and actionable insights. And let me explain. So there is really two reasons that you might wanna track your data to begin with, whether that be sleep or fitness, glucose data, whatever. The first is accountability. And the second thing is actionability or actionable insights. Most trackers these days do a really good job with the accountability part. Your Apple watch says you've only hit 6,000 steps. So maybe that motivates you to go for a walk that day or your aura ring score was super low. So maybe you're more incentivized to go to bed earlier the next night. But it, very few apps really provide enough 
data-driven, actionable insights that make it very clear why something is working or not. And for me, this is key if you really want to move the needle on your long-term health. With glucose data, yes, some things are very obvious from the get-go. You eat a stack of pancakes, your glucose is probably going to spike. You drink a cup of coffee, nothing happens. So a CGM can reveal a lot about your food choices in a very short amount of time, which is definitely why I would argue it is still one of the best experimental tools out there. But where most of these CGM companies fall short is in the how of how they deliver long-term insights around your data. And as a quick comparison, let's take a look at Very Stable's platform. So when you log on to the Trends tab from your dashboard, you'll see they do a pretty decent job of aggregating your data in a way that is super clean and aesthetic to look at. The problem here is that the app offers very little in the way of guidance and educational resources on what you can actually do to improve these scores. Moving on to NutriSense, which is a company that I've actually talked about and done a lot of reviews on in the past, and their analytics page from their dashboard is quite robust, but it's also a bit of an information overload with just so many metrics being displayed all at once. And then when it comes to guidance, well, they do offer nutritional support, which is free for your first month, but then you really have to dig around to find their education page. And when you do, you'll see that it is pretty rudimentary and uh, not all that inviting to read. And then as a direct comparison to both of those, let's turn to the Levels app because I really do think that they have done the best job here when it comes to optimizing the entire user experience, not just for accountability, but also for your insights. So we already talked about the way that they structure analytics, and I should also mention some of the bonus features that you get from your zone review, especially on the days when your numbers are falling below average. So for instance, on October 4th, I actually got a score of four for the day. Yeah, I was probably indicating something was a little bit off with my glucose response. So when you click on that day and you scroll down the page, Levels offers several different tools to help you basically get back on track. And these include the option to connect with a nutritionist directly through the app, a list of all the ingredients that may have affected your glucose response that day, as well as a couple of blog posts that are really designed to help you better understand the reason behind these scores. This, my friends, is a perfect example of what I'm talking about when it comes to actionable insights. I mean, the data is pretty clear, and then the educational tools are there, they're obvious, and they're easy to access. And really, this is like the tip of the iceberg in terms of what they offer for education on their app. I mean, you toggle over to their learn section and you will find an entire catalog of articles and videos and everything organized really well into different sections, things like women's health, athletic performance. And what's really great is that they are actually designed to be viewed directly in the app. It is not a redirect to their online blog post, which I've definitely seen a lot of other companies do. And guys, it is not a great user experience. And I'm gonna unpack a lot more about what Levels offers in just a sec, but the reason I think this app is so effective and refined is because they didn't rush getting it out to the public. I mean, Level spent, what, the last two and a half years fine tuning every minute detail behind this closed beta program so that they could develop the most robust CGM platform on the market that they could ultimately learn from and then optimize for the masses. Now, granted, it is still in beta mode. Hopefully that will change sometime next year. And the price to just get started is a little bit high. But I'll be talking a lot about their pricing model and what they're planning to do to actually make this service more affordable. But before we get into that, let's talk about how Levels actually works. And we'll do that by going over some of the core features that you can expect to get from the Levels app. So once you've received your Levels kit, you'll find in the box two of these Abbott Freestyle Libre sensors. They're gonna cover you for about 28 days. From there, you'll register your kit and you then have to download two separate apps to get started. 
So these apps include the Libra Link app, where you're gonna do all your CGM scans, and the Levels Health Tracker app. Now, eventually, you're gonna be able to do all your CGM scans straight from the Levels app, but that feature isn't available just yet, hence why you still need two apps. So every time you log into your homepage, you're gonna see a chart of your glucose time and range at the top. Now below that is your metabolic score for the day. It's gonna be a number out of 100. When you open up that widget, you'll see what factors actually contributed to your score, along with some of your previous scores from that given week. If we quickly jump back to the homepage, you'll find a couple more things that you might wanna explore, including this option to connect with one of Level's registered nutritionists. Below that, you'll find a full breakdown of all the meals you've had so far in the day, along with your metabolic score, which is gonna be number out of 10 for each one of them. Underneath those scores, you'll find your sleep report. I hope that they come out with a WHOOP integration soon, maybe 2022, we'll see. But basically this is gonna chart out your glucose timing throughout the night based on the timing of your last meal. And then finally, in the bottom section of the homepage, you'll find a bunch of links to educational resources along with your full metabolic report from the previous day. So returning now to those individual meal scores and let's take a deeper dive into what kind of data you can expect to get from each entry. So taking my breakfast as an example, when you click on one of your recent meals, it's gonna pop up this new page called the Zone Review, where you can see exactly how high your glucose spiked, along with how long your levels were out of range. Now, in general, I typically eat pretty low sugar, low carb, so a lot of my scores are falling in that seven to 10 range. But a while back, I actually experimented with some of those smart sweets candies for Halloween. In hindsight, it probably wasn't the smartest choice because they actually spiked my glucose levels 50 points, landing me an all-time low score of two out of 10. But the good thing about levels is that they make it very obvious when something is out of whack based on both the number and the color associated with each score. And so in wrapping up, let's talk the pros and the cons. Keeping in mind that their app is still in beta mode, so some of the things I mentioned here could potentially change by the time they go public. So on the plus side, in my opinion, this app over delivers on the end-to-end -end user experience. I mean, they have just figured out a way to seamlessly blend your data with their insights and educational tools in a way that's designed to empower the consumer. It's not designed to drown them in a sea of endless charts and irrelevant metrics like I've seen in other platforms. And then finally, I'm a pretty big fan of their daily summary emails, which you can opt into or out of from the settings page on their app. It is a quick and convenient way to skim through your stats without ever having to open the app. Plus, it's a really nice reminder for me to actually go in and log my meals each day because eh, life can be busy and sometimes we do forget. But moving on to the downsides and let's start with the scanning process. So as I mentioned earlier, there is no in-app scan feature on the Levels app right now. Slightly inconvenient, but I know it's something that they're working on, so stay tuned for that. I also think they could do a lot more in the way of sleep diagnostics. I mean, right now their sleep report is pretty standard with the main glucose focus being your nightly average and then your wake up levels. So what I'd really like to see are just more insights around the why and the how to improve these numbers with better charts, kind of like they do with their zone reviews. And finally, let's talk about the price. So joining levels as it stands today certainly isn't cheap. Two CGMs, which will cover you about 28 days, is gonna run you $200. Plus, there is a yearly membership fee to join levels, and that is also another $200. Now, while that membership fee is steep, I gotta say I do prefer it to some of the other CGM companies and their pricing models, where you really can only get below $200 a month, if you make a large upfront commitment. So to break it down, if you plan to use Levels and track for six months, then you can look to expect monthly average cost of around 233. Now, if you track for a whole year, 
and that takes the number down to around 215 a month. So yes, it is a pretty big investment if you wanna be an early adopter, but the silver lining in all of this is that Levels actually has some pretty big plans to make their pricing more affordable. Now, I actually had a really great conversation with the Level CEO to discuss the company's long-term vision. And what he tells me is that they're exploring something like the Costco model, where customers would pay the yearly membership fee to join, but then the price of your actual sensors would be heavily reduced or maybe even offered at cost to the consumer. So this way they can avoid the trap of having to upsell you for extra functionality, which at the end of the day, no one really wants. So when all of this is gonna happen, I'm still not entirely sure, but I will say that if, or rather when they pull this off, I think it could completely disrupt the entire CGM industry as we know it. Better yet, if other CGM companies want to stay competitive in this space, that means they're gonna have to probably lower their prices too. So this move by levels really benefits everyone because cheaper sensors means wider adoption. And with wider adoption, we might actually have a fighting chance at solving the metabolic health crisis, which is really what Level set out to do by starting this whole company. And so for this reason, among many more, I'm really rooting for this company to succeed in this space. And if you wanna join me, you can check out my invite link in the show notes below, where you can just go right ahead and skip that wait list and join their beta program right now. And if you do wanna see more content like this, then make sure to hit that subscribe button because man, I'm testing out a lot of CGMs and all sorts of different metabolic health gadgets. I even just got the Lumen. So I'm excited to explore these further and share all of my findings with you in future episodes. But for right now, that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching and I cannot wait to catch you on the next one.